Well, my name is Salih Mehmetcan. I am a cartoonist. So what I do is I tell stories every day. I tell stories in a different way. I draw cartoons. So today I'll, sh I'll talk about how easy to be a cartoonist, how easy to draw cartoons, and I will suggest that you should try. At least you should encourage your students or younger ones to draw. It makes life very easy. Uh, even in my case, it almost saved my life. So I'll show you. I'll start by drawing my cartoon character here, which who's called Limon. This is one of them, and this is Zaytun. This is the other one. Okay. These are my cartoon characters. So today I'll show you uh, how to become a cartoonist or how to draw cartoons. Now you'll tell me that, uh, Mr. Memejan, you are born with your talent, talent to draw. So how can you? How can we cartoonists? How can we draw if we don't have talent? I don't believe that. I believe that every child is born with this talent of, of to draw. It's like the talent to walk, talent to talk. So a child is born and comes to a certain age and he walks because he needs to walk. Then a child is born, comes to a certain age, he talks because he needs to talk. A child comes to a certain age and he draws, then stops drawing because he doesn't need to draw. People tell him to do his homework or to other stuff, stop drawing and so on. So it's not very much encouraged as talking or walking or other necessities of life. In my case, I had to draw because I was stuttering. <coughs> stuttering is terrible. It makes your life different. Uh, so I used to take, uh, get on the bus, and since I couldn't say that I was... I was a student, I, student, and then he would give me the full ticket. So I get into Dolmuş, and since I wasn't able to say müsait bir yerde incek var, which means I would just get out here, the, uh, the, the Dolmuş just goes. So I always wait until someone gets out, so I get out and walk. So I was a student at Middle East Technical University. So I missed the bus. A professor stopped the car and took me. So he was giving me a ride home. And he was an American professor. And I, kn I knew how to say, I want to get out here. Would you drop me here? OK, I know that, f that much. So I got in the car on the back seat. So he was getting close to the junction that I was going to get out. So I kept practicing on the back, at the back seat. Would you drop me here? Would you drop me here? Would you? So we are at the junction. I go, ooh, 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 ooh. It didn't come out. So the guy went the other side of the city. So he realized that I was sitting at the back seat in front of his house. So I had to get out and take two buses to go back home. So if. But the funny thing is, I became a cartoonist because I couldn't talk. Now they invite me to, to give talks because I'm a cartoonist. <laughs> so, um, 
I had especially problems with BLs. When a word starts with BL, it's, it's bad. And I always ask my coffee in America, describing it, I want coffee without sugar and without uh, milk. So the God would, guy would say, oh, you want it black? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because I couldn't say black. <laughs> so I went to a market to get a razor blade. So I had to ask from the cashier because it was hanging behind her. So I, I, I'm on the line and I'm looking back, seeing all those people and worrying about how I would be embarrassed to those people behind me when it was my turn. So it's my turn and I go, may I have a razor b -b 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 blade, please? And the woman said, what color do you want? There were, there were two colors, black and blue. <laughs> Which didn't really make it. <laughs> so I became a cartoonist. So I didn't have to talk. I didn't have to explain things by talking. So, and because I was a good student, but there was no way that I can show up by raising my hand and saying that, yeah, I know this answer to this question. I just would tell the, the guy sitting next to me, and he, he would raise his hand and he would answer the question. Uh, so, in order to show myself, express myself, I always drew and teachers and family friends and so on, oh, you are, you, you are good, you draw nice pictures and so on. So that was encouraging. So I was, I realized at one point that I am lucky to be studying so that I became a cartoonist. That was, uh, when I was 17, I got this scholarship called American Field Service. So I went to Fresno, California. So I went to high school there. I was a shy person. I couldn't speak English, and I was stuttering. So I tried to be disappear, actually, for a year. So, but I, there was this class called American Government. At that class, teacher you know, talked about American system, political system, and so on. But also, he talked about term paper. He said, term paper should be uh, are due this date, and it should be like this. You know, it should be how much, that many pages, and so on. So term paper and term paper. So towards the end of the semester, I asked the guy sitting next to me, what is term paper? So he told me it's a semester project, about you know, 10 pages. So we have to read about 10 books on a topic. I said, what is the topic? So the topic was perception. So I checked my uh, English dictionary, English Turkish dictionary, and perception is algılama, kavrama, whatever. So I said, how am I going to do that? So I went home that night, and I drew 10 cartoons about America, which was easy for me. And I made a nice cover sheet, Perception of USA by Turkish student by a Turkish student. So I said, God is great, Allah buked it. And I gave, this, <laughs> I gave the paper to teacher. Uh, and teacher gave me A. And not only that, he showed slides of my cartoons to the whole class. And uh, not only that, a uh, school newspaper interviewed me, and they asked me to draw cartoons regularly. So I became a popular student at the school. <laughs> Next semester was much easier than the first semester. So I said to myself, Sali, you have this, uh, this ability to draw, so keep drawing. It makes life easier. It really did make life easier. So I suggest everyone should draw in order to draw, what you should do is just keep drawing. You don't have to be stuttering. You don't have to be, um, you know, disturbances of some kind uh, or, you know, uh, antisocial character. Just keep drawing. That way, you'll be able to draw. First drawings are usually bad. Seconds are okay. Third ones are much better. You know, when you draw, when you draw the thousandth time, it is much easier so you can express yourself. 
you know, you draw your, your friends, your children, your mother, you know, everything, chair, paper, and then you realize that you can draw. So only way to draw is to draw. That's, so it has nothing to do with talent. Maybe some, but not much. I mean, see, I, I am not talented to talk, but I do talk because, you know, I have to talk. But drawing is much easier. And I'll show you. I will teach you, actually, how to draw face, OK? In order to draw face, uh, it's simple. Everyone can draw. It could be like this, ellipse, or it could be like this, you know, ellipse this way. It could be like pear. It could be a tall one. It could be a square one. It could be like a bean. You know? I mean, these things everyone can draw and knows. You may think it's difficult, but when you make a U, it's a nose. You can make a wide U, it's a wide nose. You can make a C, it's a nose. You can make a elongated C, it's an elongoid, elongated, elongoid, elongated, elongated nose. <laughs> and another C, and you can make a D, that's also nose. See, that's so far so easy. Eyes, just make two dots that make eyes. And you can make it sleepy guy here. Or you can make bigger eyes like that. Or you can make angry eyes like this. As I said, anyone can draw these things. Or like this. Or a sleepy eyes like this. Okay, mouth. Just this makes it mouth. And everyone can draw this. This also can make mouth. You can make lips like this. And if this guy is angry, then you should show teeth. Or mouth like this. Or the lower lip is thicker one, thick one, like this. And hair and mustache and things like that. Hair. This is mustache. This is heavy, bigger, heavier mustache. <laughs> this is palavayuk. <laughs> this is a goatee. And hair, you know, just like this. So this is a face. OK, sometimes you don't have hair. OK, <laughs> simple, like this. OK, she's a girl, you know. And this guy is angry, right? So hair is like this. And this guy could have a curly hair, you know, some beard. And, and this guy has nicely combed hair and mustache like that, and a tie, and a jacket, <laughs> after all. He is the Prime Minister. <laughs> so, simple. Everyone can draw. Thing to do, only thing to do is just keep drawing. You know, it's so easy. Do I have time? How much do I have? Oh. oh, I have five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I taught you how to draw. This is just one thing that you should do in order to, to become a cartoonist. The other thing is to become, you have to be funny in order to be a cartoonist. Now, I'll, I have four minutes, so I'll tell you a little bit about this much. So people tell me that you come out with all these ideas every day, so it is inspiration that strikes you? No. If you wait for the inspi inspiration to come, then you would go hungry. I mean, uh, you would be fired. Uh, you, in order to come with an idea, 
you have to look at different things and issues differently from a different perspective. So as Apple's advertisement once said, <coughs> think different. That's how you come out with ideas. Because when you look at things, same as like everyone else, it's not, it's not interesting. It's not interesting. So you should always look at from a different perspective, uh, you know, from a different angle. Then eventually, you come with an idea. In order to come with an idea, you have to sit down and think about it and concentrate on it. So I go like this first and then like this, and then like this, while I work. Eventually, when my head hits the table, the idea comes. <laughs> so I was talking about this at an elementary school. That's how I find, uh, find ideas. So one kid raises hands and asks a question. So instead of doing all these things, why don't you immediately put your head on the table and come out with the idea? <laughs> I said, yeah, that's, that's one way of doing it. But it's better if you, you know, think more. And I usually come with the idea at the very last moment. The reason for that, because when it's five minutes before the deadline, you always think it's not finished. You keep thinking that even though you come out with a nice idea, you could always find a better one within the next five minutes. So, so I always think until the last minute. So when the last minute comes, I said, that's it. Otherwise, the newspaper will, will be going to printer, uh, printing. So I'm the last minute person. That's good in a way, because no one can change your cartoon or give opinion. And they cannot say, you instead of doing this, why don't you do that? Because then the newspaper <laughs> won't come out next day. So, OK, that's one thing. One thing is you have to draw. In order to draw, you have to draw. And second thing, you have to, you have to be funny. And for that, you have to look things differently. And there is third thing, which is you have to be informed. Now, people tell me that if you were to be a cartoonist, why don't you study it this much? I mean, I have a PhD in architecture. So people tell me, why did you have this PhD and spend all those years studying while you just you know, keep drawing? OK, I, when I draw a cartoon, I have one minute. OK, when I draw a cartoon, the newspaper prints that 500,000 times, you know, 500 circulation of the newspaper. So every newspaper is read by four person average. So that means that next day, 2 million people will be reading me, or there's a possibility of them reading me. So that's, you know, you have to tell people, you know, things every day to 2 million people. And next day, you tell another thing, 2 million people again. And then I have a TV show, Bizim City. A million people watches that too. So in order to tell things to people, you have to be informed. Because while you do political cartoons, there are t you, know, you have to take stands at certain times. And when you take a wrong stand, people remember that. So you'll be you know, discredited. So it is better to be educated, better to be informed. It's better to do your homework in order to be a cartoonist. It's not an easy thing. OK, I can draw, so I can make without working hard. No, it doesn't work that way. My time is up. Okay, thank you.